This is about bullshit. Yes, dear viewers, the Britisher, always so well-spoken and reserved, is using a bad word. Bullshit. But please, I'm not merely using this for effect. This has a serious purpose. For I wish to talk about this very thing. Bullshit. Some time ago, an old professor of philosophy, Harry Frankfurt, published a book on bullshit. It was a surprise bestseller, no doubt primarily due to its title. I read it, but it was some years ago now, so it's hard for me to recall too much detail. I recall I found the book itself rather underwhelming. But the professor, when interviewed about it on various occasions, was a revelation. He spoke of how we were drowning in bullshit, and how it poses a threat to our society. So please, let me start by trying to define of what I speak, for I may differ slightly in my definition from that of the professor. Bullshit is not merely a lie. Bullshit is spin. It is the absence of truth, but one about which the person telling it does not care. Not only does he not care about the lie, but he does not care whether you know that he is lying. Bullshit just provides him with a way out of a tricky situation. At heart, it's an excuse, a cop-out, a getaway. It's why politicians love spouting bullshit. Remember Hillary Clinton telling folks about how she had to alight from a plane in former Yugoslavia under sniper fire? Remember how footage emerged of her being welcomed on the runway? Friendly smiles and handshakes. No sniper fire. What was the explanation? Hillary Clinton had misremembered. Misremembered. That is bullshit. It's a nonsense explanation to extricate her from an untenable position. Oh, she just misremembered. That is of what I speak. Now bullshit tended to be at home at public relations companies and advertising agencies. These are professional bullshitters. Buy this washing powder. It washes whiter than white. But of course politics and PR were a perfect fit for each other. And so the world of politics has been infested with it. By now we are used to our politicians using bullshit. It still irritates, but we have largely become accustomed to it. But all the while bullshit has been spreading. It is ubiquitous by now. Every institution of note now has a PR department. What for? Well, if a scandal arises or some other crisis hits, it is the PR department which handles the press release. And they will see it as their job to put the most positive spin on the affair, in order to make their institution look as good as possible, or to limit the damage as well as can be done. But think on it. Everyone has a PR department by now. Your local city council. The police department. The fire brigade. Your hospital. The local education system. The church. Now ask yourself, are any of those PR departments even remotely interested in the truth? No. They care only to portray their employers in the best possible light. It is everywhere. And it is affecting our society. You see, as the professor says, truth matters. It has a value. Our societies depend on truth. More so, our democracies depend on truth. We need facts, truthful facts, in order to make informed decisions as voters. But more so, we need to be able to trust in something. But if all our institutions by now routinely lie to us, then in what can we trust? Want it or not, this is a form of corruption. It is corrupting our societies, our institutions, our democracies. Worst of all, it is corrupting us. Yes, us. Not only are we becoming understandably cynical toward everything, because everything by now is spin, but so too, and this is equally serious, we are beginning to adopt the same methods. In our increasingly polarised politics, we see it happening all the time. Members of the two tribes excusing their respective leader, whilst always seeing the worst in the other. 
Donald Trump put his foot in his mouth? No, he didn't. It's 4D chess. But this is not coming from Trump's press secretary. It is not coming from Steve Bannon. No, it's coming from YouTubers and from people in the comment sections. It is coming from us. We are doing it now. We are bullshitting. Want it or not, we are corrupted. And this matters. It matters a great deal. For our societies need truth. Our democracies need truth. We need truth. Being honest is not some luxury. It is not something we should merely do if it is not to our own disadvantage. In the end, winning is not everything. Honesty, truth, being upstanding. It is about self-respect, but also about respecting others by telling them the truth. What society do we create if we expect everyone to lie to us and in turn we routinely lie to everyone else. It is easy to romanticise the past, to claim that everything was better back then. But so too is there a tendency these days to pretend that the past was as corrupted as the present. I honestly do not think it was. I think the politics of the past were a more civil affair, not least for the absence of abject bullshit. Dishonesty actually had a price back then, Truth mattered. Now we live in a world of relative truth. You believe in the truth you want to. There is a Democrat truth and a Republican truth. There is a Tory truth and a Labour truth. And the whole house of cards is sustained by bullshit. But maybe there is a better way. Maybe we can start with ourselves. We can be more honest. We can refuse to accept the lame excuses of politicians of our own particular bent. More so, we can stop making excuses for them. We can start demanding truth. And who knows, small steps can lead to bigger ones. Maybe our institutions can be forced to forego their PR departments. And we can start fostering anew a culture of honesty, where people are ready to admit mistakes even if it is to their own disadvantage, even if it means that the other side wins. Maybe one day we will live again in a society in which lying is deemed ugly. Not elegant, not clever, not the smart or necessary thing to do, but ugly. And where the ugliest thing of all is to lie to yourself. Think on it. It could happen. We could make it happen simply by refusing to play this game any longer. Say no. Say no to misspeaking. Say no to misremembering. Say no to 4D chess. Say no to bullshit. That is all from the Cyberpass for now. Thank you very much, and goodbye.